Jamaica's history of cooperating with international bodies goes way back. As a matter of fact, we, we signed the agreement with Interpol in 1963. So that tells you how far back we, our relationship with Interpol has been. And we recognize that crime is a global affair. Um, Jamaica is positioned in such a place where, within the Caribbean, where things like cocaine tran is transshipped from South America to North America and Europe. Um, we have had instances of um, fugitives hiding out here. And so we, we felt it necessary uh, when the invitation came to agree to host this, this symposium because we know it would bring us in touch with uh, many more law enforcers from across the region and, uh, and around the world. And um, that forging of relationship that we have seen, especially since the symposium started on Tuesday, I think is going to go a far way in, in enhancing the relationship um, that we share with other law enforcement entities across the world. Mr. Cockin is from the, from the get-go. He stressed that um, this is not going to be a talk shop, and, and so it, it is not. Um, I think the practical examples of um, fugitive cases, the, the interrogation of the, of the various databases that are provided, um, it's exposing other people who might not have been able to or might not have accessed these, these databases. It's exposing them to the reality that, that exists, that help is out there and they just need to reach out and um, communicate. I want to assure Interpol and our other partners around the world that Jamaica is here and we are willing and able to share whatever information we have, willing and able to participate in any operations that we need to participate in and our commitment to cooperation is stronger than ever.